Hello, my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters. So, greetings to you all. They can I hear this Obunga news. Uh, if I'm allowed to say, uh, according to my own opinion, and if my memory sounds me right, apart from uh, uh, Yakubu Jack Gowen uh, being the greatest uh, enemies of the Biafrans in the past, well, uh, the current uh, Jack Yakubu Gowen will have currently, currently, and uh, the struggle for the emancipation of the Biafran people and also the Biafran liberation is uh, uh, nobody but the uh, the Supreme Court Governor of uh, Imo State, hopeless Uzo Danger, he is the greatest enemy of the Biafrans, the greatest enemy of Mazen Namdekano, and the greatest enemies of the IPOB. Okay, oh, my people, make on I hear this wonderful news, and also a good news, that uh, the Biafrans now are celebrating with their health. Hi, because hope Uzo Danger is going down. Not because of the November 11 elections, not because of the killings in Limo State, but the prayers of the saints and the prayers and the cries of the innocent being tormented since the inception of the Supreme Court governor of uh, Imo State, hopeless or danger. All their prayers have reached heavens and heaven have begun to react. Make a tell on what did happen now. Oh, Marzi, oh, sorry, uh, the hopeless uh, hope, uh, Uso danger have a pending case since 2019 that is not even supposed to run for office. According to that Supreme Court judgment, it says, and I quote, that APC have no candidate to run for the 2019 election, but on another APC that whatever they cannot do does not exist. They are being charged for double nomination, Uche Wosu and the hopeless judge just said the Supreme Court. The same Supreme Court that I ruled that they don't have a, a, a candidate to contest for that election. APC, because knowing fully well that they are the ones that hold the pattern at the national level, force their way into the election, and that is how how uh, the emergence of hope or dangers came in place. The same Supreme Court who said APC don't have a candidate is the same Supreme Court who ruled and make hope or danger the Supreme Court governor of Imo State. Okay, as I'm talking to you now, make you hear the good news. Hope or danger is going to be what is going to be chased out from Imo government house, and it's going to happen soon. Not because of uh, the 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 PDP. Or the APGA or the SDP candidates, they are too powerful, or because of the court, but simply because this one is they call it karma. That is what is about to happen to Hope Uzo Dinjo. So, anywhere where you're there, as long as you are a Biafran, you see this message, you do share it, my dear. Because this is the kind of message that need to go around the internet, and need to go around the, the whole world, need to go around Nigerians and almost uh, every part of the world to know that the Biafrans. Their girls are not sleeping. Can never, I repeat, can never allow us to be like that. That this man will go scot free. After almost murdering all the whole uh, Biafran youths in Imo State, all in the name of, you are looking for IPOP and the ESN. Leaving the main criminals and the main terrorists we have in our midst, which is the Bubagu militia. Going about killing people at, at will. Because they know, they, they see, they see, our emo lies, the Biafrans, as like animals. The same way their counterparts, Fulanese, are seeing us like cows. Well, no, they see us like chicken self. Because if they see us like cows, that means we want something in their eyes. Anyway, my dear brothers and sisters, the Biafrans, rejoice for our prayers have been answered. Group our Supreme Court to, to determine three year old appeals, seeking hopeless, who's a dangerous removal before November 11th gubernatorial election. Let joy fool the house. As that joy is fooling, please remember our campaign is still going on. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hashtag Biafra to the moon, Biafra to the world, all hell Biafra, and all the mandate of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano, and IPOB, and all the whole East South Easterners, we all shall stand. And so shall it be. No any devil is going to stop it. Not even the Kabaz in Azorog. Uh, if they could not... Uh, Defeat us through the help of hope of danger and the video my including the militia called the Bubago, they can never ever do anything again. Thank God the Biafra Resistance uh, uh, Army is on the line now, and we have Biafra Liberation Army and also ESN on the other hand, fighting for the liberation of our people and to protect our territory. There's nothing they can do. Let us go straight to the reason why we are here this morning. Rejoice because one of our enemies is going down the drain. 
a public interest group known as Association for Public Policy Analysis, have all the Supreme Court, headed by Chief Justice of Nigeria, Uluka Yode Ariwola, to hear and determine all pending 2019 Imo State Governorship election litigations before the November 11 gubernatorial poll. Record that the Supreme Court on 5th October 13, or October 31, 2023, to hear two separate appeals filed in 2020, second to disqualify the All Poverty Congress APC from contesting in the 2019 Imo governorship election, as well as remove Governor Hopeless Udo Dinjo from office. The appeals are a fall of uh, fall out of two Supreme Court judgments delivered late 2019 and early 2020 regarding the Emo uh, 2019 elections. The Apex Court had disqualified Ugumba Uchengosu from contesting the 2019 gubernatorial election or poll, observing he had double nomination of the All Poverty Congress and Action Alliance, which is AA. In another judgment in 2020, the Apex Court sat Emeka Yedioha of the People's Democratic Party and declared APC's hopeless Uso Dinjo winner of the 2019 governorship election. In another application, the PDP and the Action Alliance of Abi Action People's Party, APP, asked the Apex Court in 2019 to interpret the effect of the judgment sacking Wosu, who held double nomination of APC and AA, as well as enforce the verdict against the current governor of the state. The matter filed since 2019 is letter for hearing October 31st. But the National President of the Association of the Public Policy Analysts, Chief Comrade Prince Will Okorie, in a meeting briefing on Saturday, raised the alarm about the alleged plan to delay hearing of the case. No APC, <laughs> anything they cannot do does not exist. He pleaded with the Chief Judge of the Supreme Court to jettison any pressure from any quarters that will truncate the hearing of the pending matters slated for 31st October 2023 or delay expeditions disposal of the case before the November 11th governorship election in Imo State. He said, considering that Imo has been politically unstable and unsafe, since 2020, the association on the 10th October 2023 wrote a letter to the Chief Justice of Nigeria and appealed to him to say that the motion and case is heard and ruling is given expeditiously before the 2023 governors, uh, governorship selection in the state. It is surprising that the application and motions made by Umade are still pending in the court as at 3rd October. 2023 without being heard. While it is gratifying to know that the Chief Judge of the Supreme Court granted our plea by fixing 31st October 2023 for hearing of the applications and motions, it is regrettable that information reaching us from our analysts in the judiciary is pointing to the fact that some judicial staff at the Supreme Court have been endorsed to compromise by making frantic efforts to shift the hearing notice date which was, uh, has already been served on parties in the case to December 2023. <laughs> While I let the finish you, this is without a notice of Chief Justice of the Federation, who by his action, after receiving our letter, approved it for hearing of the application and motion, Okorie said. Okorie alleged that certain public servants in the judiciary, politicians, and traditional rulers are trying to delay hearing and the determination of the case of selfish and unpatriotic reasons. He added, putting the 2019 governorship election judicial struggle to rest before the next election will not only restore the confidence of the Imo people in the judiciary, but promote justice and fair play, as well as giving parties involved in the matter opportunity to move on with their lives. Finally, it is important to remind the Chief Justice of the Federation that shifting the date of these applications and motions that have stayed at the Supreme Court for over three years will present the Supreme Court as the institution that is not consistent with her decisions on policies. Circum uh, circumventing the will of justice, propelling political instability in Imo State and lacking in integrity, according to the news. 
This image and uh, perception will be very wrong in the eyes of the international community who are relying on Nigeria to champion effort towards sustainability of credible democracy in the whole wide world, Africa. You get it? You don't get it? Then better forget about it. Anyway, we have another situation at hand here. Police, according to them. Anyway, this one, let us leave it. Supreme Court Justice who clear Saraki of false asset declaration charges to retire October of uh, 20, uh, October 27 in this month. Supreme Court Justice Musa Datijo will retire from the bench on October 27, 2023 at the age of 70, having served for 47 good years since 1976, according to information on the National Judiciary Council website. Datijo had presided over the Supreme Court panel, which caused the asset falsification charges uh, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC instituted against former Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki before the Code of Conduct Tribunal, CCT. In the CCT, uh, okay, the CCT had in 2017 discharged Saraki of all the false asset declaration charges, but the Court of Appeal heard. He had a case to answer in some of the courts, according to what you have here. But when the case reached the Supreme Court, the Appeals Court set aside the verdict of the Appeal Court, with that video observing that it is imperative that whenever we proceed uh, against any person or allegations of corruption, it must be done according to the law. The Supreme Court postperson faces a and now that video's retirement adding a valedictory season will be held in his honor in line with tradition. That is your retirement will reduce the number of Supreme Court justices to 10, according to what we have here. Anyway, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, we are still moving forward. Please continue sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos as we are, pro uh, as we are proceeding. Relevant Nigerian laws provide that the Appeals Court should be occupied by 21 justices to enable its function efficiently. The statement read, The validatory court season to mark the retirement of Justice Musa Datijo Mohammed from the Supreme Court bench comes up on Friday, 27th October of 2023 at the main courtroom of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. The special court season is to be presided over by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ulu Kayode Ariwola, who will customarily pay tribute to the Justice Musa Datijo alongside other major stakeholders in the nation's justice sector. Justice Musa Datijo, who hails from a Chanchaga local government area of Niger State, was born on Tuesday, October 27, of 1953, in Mina. He took the oath of office as Justice of the Supreme Court on Tuesday, 10 July of 2012. His ascension to the Court of Appeal was more of a reward for hard work, inherent passion for his chosen profession, dedication to duty, and above all, a resolute application of the law in his true letters and words to all cases that came to him. He earned a well-deserved elevation to the Court of Appeal on 21st November of 1998 from the Niger State Judiciary and served meritorously, I mean, merit Torosli at different divisions are can be stated. You get it? If you don't get it, then you forget about it. We are my wonderful people. Now here, me, I go take a break. Remember, my name is Tilly Man. I'm Andy Anes. I'm reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk, where we always speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life, about the Biafran struggle, and about the downfall of all the enemies of Biafran, including the so-called hopeless Uzo Danger, who is going to fall very soon. Well, on a still remember, our campaign is still ongoing. Keep on writing, keep on commenting, and keep on hashtagging. Hashtag Biafra to the world, to the moon, Biafra to the earth. And all hell Biafra on the mandate of Mazin Namdekano, I pop Biafra, we all shall stand. And as you are doing this, may the almighty to go Biama, or your premier, continue to bless, reward, and uh, fulfill all the promises they have made to us indirectly or directly spiritually or sp physically online or offline and whichever way it is that's all thing take be so make on a continue to share my message make sure you like con uh, comment and make sure you continue subscribing for more interesting videos have a nice day right back again remember 
Monday video so and back to back I will give on a message. Bye for now. Kemesiano.